Hey guys, Guy Christian 9 here. Let's play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we made it to the end of Route 26. And you would think Route 27 would be this route, but anyways, in this episode, we're gonna be heading through this gate, which is this uh, little reception area, and this guy's gonna stop us. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto! Please go right on through. I would say, hey, he's the guy that pretty much keeps you from going anywhere, and I hate these two guys because they keep you from going off. How the Pokemon League are you? The Force are so strong, it's scary, and they're ready for you. What about you? This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. Hey, anyway, what is true? Now, the guy on the right leads to a, pa a shortcut to um, Kanto, but of course, uh, up, of course, is Victory Road, which um, definitely has a lot better music in this game, at least. Uh, let's see. Uh... That stinks. Um, shoot. Mm, yeah, I'll just chance it, I guess. Alright, but yeah, Victory Road. It has traded itself up for a bit better music, but on the downside, it's a completely boring area because it has absolutely no trainers. Which to me, Mecha My Childhood made absolutely no sense at all because, I mean, it's, it's Victory Road. Most of which I like how the, uh, at least with the first floor, like pretty much primarily with the first floor, it's near identical. Oh wow, right on. That's quite fine. Um, like it's the first floor is near identical to the original v Victory Road, so that's pretty cool. Although you don't have any of those annoying boulders or switches, and I'm just gonna go ahead and I hate using a max item, but oh no, why? All right, there we go. I hate to use max items, but I just want to get through this place. Not to mention that Max Revolve should probably get me through pretty much all of it. But yeah, like, the floor is not an identical match, but it's near identical, at least with this floor here. At the remaining two areas of this place, like, not so much, but it's still kind of cool. Yeah, I love how- I, I, I just personally love how you don't need strength to get through here anymore. I, I love how they got rid of that annoyance. But yeah, Victory Road, it just kind of seems like a shell of its former self in this generation. I thought it was going to be an item there. But yeah, because it's short, there are no trainers. Well, there's one trainer, but that's spoiling things. Um, yeah, but still, the music's kind of cool. And there is um, a few items that you can get here that are actually pretty good, too. Um, I'll have to loop back for some of them, though. Uh, let's see, I want you in front. Alright, uh, well, yeah, that's fine. Alright, so let's just continue onwards. There are a few items around here, and I thought that was going to be an item there. Um, yeah, since I have my, my repel going, I'll go ahead and go after them. I'm looking around for my pairs guy at the same time. I can't seem to find it. My room is so messy. <laughs> Alright, hey, HP up. Oh, always a useful thing, I guess. I mean, it does what it says. <laughs> Alright, and uh, you have to go up here. Alright, this is the final floor here. Hopefully I can get past a little bit of a notch so I can get to where I want to be. Because there's a... Well, first let's go at this thing, because I can't get an item through here. Alright, and at least the staircase here, and leads you this little thing here, which is a full restore, which is always useful, because full restores. They're a really useful item. I hate it when computers use them, though, but they're really useful, nonetheless. And now let's loop back. Now let's see if I can get past that, so, uh, like this one little instance here. Oh, okay, I can. I can. All right, let's get, get, get going. Yeah, random hole here. It's the only way to get this item here, which is TM twenty six, which personally for me is a very important TM because it is for earthquake. So I can finally replace Sand, uh, Sand Slash's dig. Uh, I believe it's actually the same power, but like earthquake, you know. I don't know. I just prefer, prefer having one turn moves. And I get a wild Pokemon right before the instance. God damn it! I was so close to Venom. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun training my Pokemon up here. All these rock and ground type Pokemon. Oh yeah. Yeah, one effing step. God damn it. Oh yeah, look, he's back. Hold it. Wait, how? He was ahead of us. How? Huh. Don't make me laugh. You are so much weaker. Uh, yeah, that explains all the times I've beaten you so far. I'm not like I was before. Oh, you're different now. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. 
Yeah, alright, let's put that to the test. Alright, so yeah, we here we go. This is the technically the penultimate uh, rival battle. Uh, he's got a full complement of Pokémon now, so there's that advantage. And of course he starts out with Sneasel, which he had from last time. Dark and Ice, nothing new. I mean, yeah, it's... Mm, I mean, it, yeah, it probably does outspeed you, but... <laughs> and it failed. How cute. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah. But yeah, this guy's got a, kind of a nice team, although, to be honest, he probably could have diversified a little bit more, but anyways, he get a cheap shot on me. Because, like, you'll see, you'll see in a minute that, like, he really doesn't have a whole lot of different, well, he has some diversity, but mm, I would probably want better, honestly. He kind of goes for, like, an evilish kind of party, but yeah, he goes out with Golbat next, another Pokemon that he's had. Trying to look on here and see which of these Pokemon he didn't have. Them. Oh yeah, all right, I know which one. Because I think he had five Pokemon back in uh, Golden Rod. Let's flip back real quick while I flip over to Umbra and Ice Punch this thing. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, okay, I was right. All right. And of course, this thing outspeeds me again because Umbra is slow. You know, it's gonna be interesting taking on Lance with this thing, just because its special defense could be a little bit better. Alright, but well anyways, let's uh, finish this thing off. Yeah, I mean, at this point, if you're at the pretty much the levels I am right now, like, really, a lot of the, if you pretty much have to do most of the trainer battles along those two routes, you'll probably be ready for this. Alright, because he's gonna have Magneton out, so, um, yeah, let's fight out Elika again. Because six times damage is always, well, six times plus, because I keep getting the damn whole item. I gotta find out what the actual thing for that is. Well, let's see, what's 1.5 times? So that'd be 3. So I guess it'd be 9 times, technically. Because, like, if you do 6 times and then 1.5 times again, because that's the boost that you get for the item. Hmm. I don't know, I might be right. Well, whatever. Either way, it's going to be dead, because Magneton does not have a lot of HP, so that's its one downside, honestly. Alright, and now he's going to send all these new Pokemon, which is Kadabra, randomly. Uh, level 40. Um... Wait, 40? Or no, 35. <laughs> I was reading my own Pokemon, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, I was getting it. I was being silly there. Um, like... Ah, Future Sight. <laughs> You're gonna be dead long before that hits. Uh... <laughs> and he wastes his turn. Wow, what a loser. I shouldn't really be taunting it too much because the AI in Heart Gold and Soul Server can be mean as hell, so. Alright, now he's gonna save his best Pokemon for last, so he's gonna take out Haunter now. Another Pokemon. He kinda of wish he had a Gengar at this point. Like, it would make sense. And mean look. Ha! <laughs> like I need the run. Kadabra's dead, so that one thing won't hit me anymore. And this will probably paralyze you. Please paralyze. No! Oh shit, it's still hit! Oh! <laughs> Oh, and yeah, Haunter just killed itself. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> wow, I was worried for a second there, game. You had me going. <laughs> Alright, now that Haunter's dead, Mean Look is now disabled, so now I can switch out Pokemon, thank god. Ah, that's hilarious. Alright, but yeah, obviously, we're gonna deal with Typhlosion again. And, uh, well, actually, no, I think this is the first time we fought Typhlosion, because I, I remember back in Golden Rod, it's not evolved yet. But yeah, Typhlosion, the final evolution of Cyndaquil, and obviously my favorite of the, um... Oh no, well, you do fight Typhlosion back... No, oh, I can't remember. Actually, no, I... No, I'm pretty sure this is the first time you fight Typhlosion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm confusing myself. Super Player's Guide has Typhlosion already. Um, uh, this is... This Pokemon, though, is my favorite of the Generation 2 starters, though. Mainly because it's one I started with, but, like, just... I don't know, I just like it. And it showed off its signature move, fail, uh, flame move, then. <laughs> I mean, what? What? I sound like Growl Cow right now. <laughs> it's a signature fire type move, and wow, I nearly killed him one. Huh. I'm surprised. I'm surprised it had that little health. I was expecting it to survive with a little bit more, at least. And the hell with your smoke screen. <laughs> I don't need accuracy. <laughs> And level, no, no, level 40. Oh, I, uh, this is good. I need level 40. Yes. Oh my god. I can't believe that other stats are so low. Alright, Geo was defeated again. Yay. I couldn't win. 
gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack. I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. He's had a breakthrough! Whee! <laughs> Haven't given up on uh, up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. When I do, I will challenge you. And I'll beat you down with all my power. Hmm, you just keep at it until then. So, kind of a turning point. Well, no, the last battle was a turning point. Well, no, the Lance part was a turning point. But anyway, super short route here. <laughs> and we finally arrived at the Indigo Plateau, the ultimate goal for trainers. Pokemon League HQ. And, of course, like all Indigo Plateaus, it's going to have a Pokemon Center and a Pokemon Mart slapped together into each other. And an interesting note is that old man right there with uh, what looks like a psychic Pokemon it is an Abra. And if you talk to him, he will offer to teleport you all the way back to New Bark Town, so it's an easier way to get back to Johto. But yeah, here's the Mart here. You can find some pretty good items there. Um, that's my lead four. You have to beat them all. We've already heard this stuff before. Yeah, this guy has some pretty high-grade stuff, so if you really need to get some stuff here, well, here you go. I'm the Revival Store. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I burp there. But anyways, this is Gyron Kush 9 with Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. We made it through Victory Road, and in between this video and the next, I got a lot of training to do. So, once all that training is done, I guess I will see you then when I take on the Elite Four.